All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the speed of design, what your clients care about and what your team cares about. So internal and external uh, care of design and the speed of design. So ultimately there's two things that come down to it in project design and speed of design. One externally to your clients is can you meet deadlines, right? Period, end of story. Can you meet the deadlines that you and your clients set and agreed upon, you know, typically months before or months earlier? Can you agree and meet those deadlines, right? Continue to hit them uh, for each project milestone from SD, DD, CD, and then, um, well, really just getting the project out and then being timely in responding to RFIs and change orders and all that kind of stuff in construction. Hopefully you don't have too many change orders. Um, or too many RFIs, right? It means you did a good job in your design documents, your construction documents, um, because there are not many questions that come up in the project. So one, can you meet deadlines, right? Plain and simple, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Number two is in meeting those deadlines, right? And the speed of design is, are those deadlines reasonable enough to where your team is not having to burn, you know, the candle at both ends, uh, where they're not working nights and weekends and just burning themselves out and getting projects out the door, right? It's never fun when you're just trying to pound out project after project. There's no end in sight, right? It's not like you get the project out the door and then you can take a break for a little while, right? If there's multiple projects coming up behind. So a lot of this has to do with scheduling your uh, projects, your deadlines, and trying to make it so that you and your team have the ability to take some breaks, right? You get some rest and relaxation in there after a little while so that you're able to uh, properly execute those projects. And again, fatigue does not help you create a better set of construction documents. So at the end of the day, are you one meeting your external needs, right? Of your clients, the people that pay you to do what you do. And then are you meeting the internal needs of your team so that you continue to have people to work with you and for you uh, on your projects so that you're not having to do all the work yourself. Right. So at the end of the day, you need to have those two things, right? You need to meet the deadlines of clients at the end of the day. That's who we're working for. And then two, uh, your team so that they're on board, they're not burning out and you're still going to have a valuable, uh, team at the end of the day to continue to work with for projects, uh, yet to come. So are you meeting those two things to help you deliver projects effectively, efficiently, and, uh, quickly to your clients? Let me know in the comments below.